in this video from We Are Racing. Uh, it's looking a lot better and I think the driving experience is going to be a lot better. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. As promised, continuing on our uh, journey of car maintenance, we've come to GT1 today. Let me see if I can get that in the shot. Um, these guys specialize in all kinds of things, including, of course, gearboxes. And they were referred to us by the good people at Motel. Because they have a very, very special machine here that they use specifically to service automatic gearboxes and we're going to see that process today so for this journey we've arranged a mercedes with an automatic gearbox that takes a oil filter inside the gearbox let's get in here and see how it goes they say that you can tell a lot about people from the company that they keep porsche porsche that Porsche there apparently came in as a breakdown today and will be rebuilt. Porsche at the back there. Interesting little Fiat over here. Another Porsche. Yeah, this is a pretty decent company, I would say. And this, of course, our subject for today. C180 Mercedes with um, over 200,000 kilometers on the clock in fact and, and I'm pretty sure this will be the first time that gearbox oil is touched on this car. You guys remember this guy? How's it Ducky? How you doing Graham? Lekker man. So we are here to do some automatic gearbox maintenance with your magic motor Evo machine over here. Do you want to tell us about the machine for a bit? Yeah, so we are in GT1's workshop. We're going to be do, it's doing a transmission flash on your vehicle that you've brought in here. We've got our correct uh, gear uh, oil, automatic transmission oil, uh, very specific on the Mercedes's, and uh, we've made sure we've got the right uh, standard met on it, and that's what we're going to be putting in, Motel ATF6. And yeah, what we effectively do is a full gearbox flash and the reason for that is if you just drain a gearbox the conventional way you tend to get 40 to 60 percent of the oil out whereas this this method we will be flashing your torque converter your cooler and your gearbox making sure that you got fresh fluid inside and you aren't mixing too much old and new fluid getting all, all the good stuff in and all the bad stuff out for a longer period of time but then that obviously uses quite a bit more oil hence the big kind of oil that we've got over there so this gearbox yeah, or this whole system is 9.8 liters and we're going to be using 120 to 150 percent of that fluid depending how dirty that fluid is that starts coming out from my understanding it hasn't been changed before so there's a very good chance it's going to be very dirty and then we'll probably use 12 to 15 liters of of um, atf in this in this car and yeah that, that, the reason for that is because the machine takes out 200 mils, puts in 200 mils, takes out 200 mils, puts in. So you do have a degree of mixing happening, but by doing that extra 20 or 50% of the fluid, you eliminate the amount of old fluid in that gearbox and you manage to get quite um, a clean transmission by the end. I, would not, I wouldn't go as far as to say 100% brand new fluid, but 98, 99% of brand new fluid. And it's probably one of the most effective ways to get there without physically stripping out your torque converter, your automatic transmission and your cooler, cleaning it all up and retopping it up this way. Quite easy, quite mobile and all, all fits together. I mean, just to give you guys a bit of information, we've got here the Motel database, the Motel Evo database which um, I've selected the vehicle, we're doing a C180 CGI and it's got a 722.6 Mercedes-Benz gearbox in and this is the maintenance information, just gives us the points where we'll be connecting the machine on and yeah, once the machine's connected, uh, the machine literally just forms part of the circuit and the transmission fluid flows through the machine, through your whole circuit and as it starts um, yeah, like a, a, as it starts exchanging, uh, it pulls out, puts in, without affecting the car stays on, you'll see while we're doing it, the car's on, and it draws and adds to make sure that the car's all clean and all the lubricant inside is the right stuff and clean. 
how would I know that it's time to start servicing my gearbox? What, 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 sort of, what am I looking out for? So generally we see in owner's manuals that the vehicles are listed as lifetime full and lifetime full generally depicts the car's warranty period. There are certain manufacturers with a specific drain interval, 60 or 80,000 kilometers, but you'll start, it's a very slow gradual process where you'll have a bit more lag when you accelerate, the, the gearbox will feel a bit slumpish or the shifts between gears won't feel as smooth, it'll be a bit more of a harsh shift. Any, any sounds like that could be uh, an oil related issue that it's time for oil change. Could also be other issues with the gearbox. Um, but what I found in the market is a lot of people don't change gearbox fluid ever and it is a part that, that gets overlooked and an important part of your, your maintenance plan. Because gearboxes are a slightly on the more expensive part. Yeah, so gearboxes are very expensive and by doing the maintenance you just manage to extend the, the lifespan of that gearbox and uh, but but one part that's very important especially with your with your modern cars is the correct oil selection and just choosing the right oil because they're all designed different differently different friction requirements and and different operating conditions and it's it's very important to have the right fluid for that you, you call this oil a 60 something so this is atf6 atfvi oh, so ATF that's a six. dextron 6 product <laughs> okay um, and it meets multiple uh, manufacturer specifications and uh, for anybody that would like to know they can go on our website and check what fluid they use for their car and by choosing the technical data sheet there's a page of specifications that this fluid does meet and you can pick that up in your owner's manual and cross-reference to make sure you've got the right one. So if this car says Dextron 6 and I decide to put a Dextron 4 or 3, I don't know if that even exists. Dextron 3. Uh, if, I, if I put that in my car, what's going to happen? So the, the component is just not designed around that oil formulation and you might have friction issues, your lockup clutches might not engage properly, hydraulic issues. There's so many different complexities in automatic transmission, electronic functions, hydraulic functions, mechanical functions, and the fluid has to be designed around that application. Like this car, for example, requires a Mercedes-Benz ATF 236.14 specification, which is covered by our product. Um, which is a, a, a form of Dextron 6 specification with certain added requirements from the fluid as well. Because uh, these boxes are getting quite clever though. I mean, um, you, you can't build a manual box as clever as these automatic boxes. Yeah, I must say these, these have so many different integral, integrated parts that they, they're really smart gearboxes. They know what to do when and how to get it done. And that's why it's important to make sure they've got the right blood inside them and fresh, fresh oil all the time. So tell us a bit more about your machine. So this is a Motel concept, um, Motel EVO is our automatic transmission flashing concept um, and it's just a way to effectively help the, the workshops make it more simple for them to do the flash and it's got a clean oil and dirty oil tank and through the, the different um, options we can add a transmission clean uh, additive to clean out any old resins or dirt inside the gearbox before we do the flash out of the car for 10 minutes and then do the flash we can do exchange where we will be doing that just now just exchanging the old and new fluid you can adjust fluid levels and then there's empty uh, the new and old tanks which are housed inside so any oil pulled out goes into an old tank and you put the fresh tank of oil in the back and it sucks new oil from there and puts it into the, the gearbox and then when we're done, there's a little slip that prints that says we're not sharp. Yeah, so that little slip will tell us the amount of fluid taken out and the amount of fluid put in to ensure that you're taking out and putting in this, the right amount of fluid. Um, and then afterwards, we will do a manual level check just to do the double safe because on gearboxes, they are very specific on the, the fluid level. Um, but yeah, that just also gives everybody a peace of mind that if a workshop saying they used 10 liters, they've got a slip to show the customer they've used 10, 10 liters and just eliminates that discrepancy that can occur with us using so much oil. Cool, thanks man, let's get on to this process. Perfect. And that's what oil looks like that's been in there for 200 odd thousand kilometers. Yeah. Lovely. Very dirty. Definitely lifetime oil. oil is still left and I think after yeah. you drained it. Yeah. yeah, but now you've also still got your tool converter and yeah. your cooler filled with oil as yeah. well. So you put a little rubber o-ring here. That seals it off as it goes into the valve body. Okay. And oh, that's the infamous valve body. That's it there. Lovely. And that's why it's so important to do gearbox oil services because 
you know, no matter how good or bad a gearbox is, you always have little metal findings and little particles that get caught in the strainer. And if you don't do it on time, that gets into the valve body. And this is a very delicate piece of kit. A lot of pistons and springs and things that mm. regulate your pressures. And that's 90% of issues with valve body. Can you rebuild them or is it drop and replace? No, you can. Just very time consuming. Okay. You can do that, yeah. <coughs> that picks up all the residue metal shavings. Okay, so now how's this one after 200,000 Ks? It's not too bad, I've seen worse. This is not too bad, but normal. Cool, and the purpose of this like, is just to catch filings yeah. and yes, whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. thank you. Okay, so this machine comes with a massive amount of different adapters for any type of car or gearbox. Do you want to take us through that please, Taki? Yeah, so Graham, we supply a, a range of adapters with the machine to make sure that the machine's versatile and can be used on various vehicles for transmission uh, flashes from dual clutch transmissions, continuously variable transmissions and automatic transmissions. Now sometimes because there's so many, it does get a bit confusing for the, pe for the workshops because they're not sure which one to use where. And that's our Motul database and we set up a Motul Evo database that you search by brand or model and then you select the car you're looking for and it's got a, sh a place that gives you up the maintenance information for that car and presents you with a little PDF that gives you where the transmission is located, how to connect a machine to the transmission and then also which adapters to choose so that you are choosing the right adapter for the job and with that, once you've got the right oil, you're good to go and uh, ready to do the full flash. What did we do before Google? <laughs> okay, so now we have changed the filter and we've emptied the gearbox. The gearbox itself is empty, which is only a four and a half liter capacity, whereas the whole system is almost 10 liters. So now we'll adjust the fluid level back to where it was. So I'm going to add 4.5 liters into the, the gearbox and the machine will then pump that in and the connection up here um, so we connected yeah at the um, cooler at the transmission cooler um, we've just taken the, the, the we've joined it into the line between the transmission itself and the transmission cooler transmission fluid cooler and now we're just filling straight into there okay so just an inline connection yeah just the inline connection cool doesn't show up so great on the, on the footage on the camera but uh, there you can see 17% and how long it's taking capacity that you put in and there we can see the new fluid running into the gearbox as you can see it's nice and clean oh. fancy okay so now we have topped up our fluid level so now the exchange will occur. So we'll do an actual exchange with 120% of the fluid. What you can see here now is the pressure's increased and you have fluid flowing in and out. So you can see how dirty the fluid is now, even after changing four and a half liters. We still have some very dirty fluid in there coming out. And now it's all pretty much mixed between them after adding our four and a half liters. So we're gonna exchange it to get both of these looking clean again and get clean fluid inside there. This is a bit of a visual. Um, it just allows you to see a bit better if the fluid is extremely dirty. I mean, it doesn't give an accurate representation of the fluid, um, the fluid uh, property, but uh, it gives you a visual representation on that. So we'll change now with the exchange. We've done 4.5 and I said we'll probably do around 12. So I'm going to do another 8 on the exchange because of how dirty it is now. And now it's running the exchange. So time 0 0.02, progress 0. But if we take a look at these levels up top here, now the oil is busy being pulled out by the machine. It's busy pulling dirty oil out. And it will swap over to put in now. There's a, there's the clean oil is busy going in now. You can see the color of the oil change. Both dirty again. And that's how I said, we'll pull out half a litre, put in half a litre, pull out half a litre the whole time to keep the, the oil level correct inside the transmission um, while flushing it almost like a dialysis machine, I could almost say, with a, a person. Pull out old oil, new oil in and refresh everything, make it nice and clean and ready to drive off feeling a lot better.
Yeah, so now we've done the full exchange. Um, the oil really looked dirty that came out. We've gotten it a whole lot cleaner. We used quite a bit of extra oil. Uh, we've used about 160% of the oil capacity. But that's purely because this gearbox hasn't been um, serviced for over 200,000 kilometers. Uh, it's looking a lot better and I think the driving experience is going to be a lot better. I think Graham will be able to give some information on that once he's taken it for a test drive and sees if, if he's happy or not. I'm sure he's going to be very happy. And yeah, now it's just disconnecting, checking the oil level and the car's ready to roll out. Top job. Perfect and I think that total procedure took about 15 minutes with the exchange. Uh, the longest part was just finding the connecting points and connecting on there. Other than that, the exchange was really quick and nice and easy. Cool, thanks Taki. Perfect, thank you very much. Hell yeah, and as Taki predicted, you can immediately feel the difference in this gearbox. Um, it's just more crisp, the gear changes are different, very difficult to explain. But it's like it's got a little bit of life breathed back into it. Guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. I know it's a bit long, apologies for that. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good things that YouTube people do. And remember to nominate your next project for our next project your ideas your ideas for our next project we'll speak to you soon always remember that life is too short to drive boring cars thanks and see you in the next one